Young Art Masters is a program designed to bring acclaim to young artists while supplying needed resources to area high school art programs. The Jacobs family of Wellington provided the students with paint, canvases, and other supplies, and recently 40 works of art from four Wellington area high schools went on display. Very exciting event tonight and a lot of kids, teachers, a lot of excitement. It's a wonderful event. Wellington Regional Medical Center is a community hospital and this is how we bring the community in. We do a lot of community lectures and we look for opportunities to bring the community inside the hospital when they're not receiving health care. Something to really just be able to be acclimated to a hospital in a very safe environment. So tonight was wonderful seeing all the talent. My name is Rosie Parisian and I am representing Seminole Ridge High School. I'm 16 and have been in art for two years. Uh, my painting is actually called Liquid Sunshine. It's a painting from a photograph I took of the back of my bus loop. What I think art is, is it's self-expression and it's history and it's time. And art is something that you make to leave behind a story. Art is beautiful and art is in the eyes of the beholder and what may be appropriate for my eyes may not be appropriate for, for yours but then again there's something here for everybody there's 40 pieces of art and something here is going to please you but it's the hard work and determination that the art students the high school students put into these works of art that i think is is the most meaningful uh, thing about this and then it's kind of like a close-up of like if you were to go deep inside like the seaweed and there's three flowers, there's two other flowers. There's one here and there's one here that leads into this one. I'm Sydney Tate and I'm a senior at Royal Palm Beach High School and I'm 18 years old. I think everybody's an artist in their own way because my mom once told me that she's an artist and I'm like, what? <laughs> and she's a nurse and I've never seen her draw in her life. But she's like, because she helps and heals people with her hands and does the job that not many of us would want to do. And so when she told me that, it gave me a better perspective that art is inside everybody and creativity is so much more than what we can comprehend. This is Antonia and she chose to do these three horses. And Antonia, explain why you chose this. Um, well, when I think of Wellington and Palm Beach, well, I mostly think of Wellington and I think of the horses in the back and all the horse shows I've been to. So that's why I've decided to draw the horses. Antonia did this whole painting in front of us. It, it just came alive. She formed the horses and painted them just from out of your head didn't you? And you chose some special colors to really make it really beautiful. I was actually really excited because like, you know, I don't really, I don't, I, this is my, actually my first time getting displayed somewhere. And when I found out, found out we were, you know, this hat was happening, I was just like, all right, I got to get, do this. I got to, you know, fix everything, go take picture, pictures and show it to her, to Miss Barnett. And now here it is at the, at the um, auction. I think what a lot of people don't realize about the Jacobs family from Buffalo, New York, with the residents here in Wellington, is they're very philanthropic. It doesn't matter whether it's conservation or preservation or education. In this case, they have very generously organized or had their team organize this Young Art Masters program. And they've involved the local high school and their artists, and they've created an online opportunity for people to bid on this, to raise funds for the local high schools. It's a great opportunity for the students to feel like they are real artists and to be out in the public is an amazing thing and to get large canvases, it's hard to come by. It makes a huge difference to be a part of something like this and for the students as well. I'm, they've already been looking through catalogs and saying, let's get some of this, let's get some of that. So paints and materials that we would never have are now available. Being able to go online allows people, grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles and family friends and, and anyone who wants to see it, who's no matter where they are in the country or in the world, they can go on and take a look at the art. And, and participate in the auction and partic participate in this event. We were all really excited and this got an opportunity for me to just show my pieces and I have two in here so I'm very happy. So, thank you. Are you at all surprised as a teacher at how adept some of these young kids are and how far along they are in their technique and professionalism? I think sometimes they're ahead of me and I'm constantly learning from them so it's just always it's a, it's a wonderful community of students that are sharing with each other and they challenge each other and, and their work keeps growing, so I'm so proud of them. This is actually very cool because I get to meet my classmates that I actually never knew existed and uh, I get to see all the amazing artwork here.
What what inspired you to do this? The the silence of the ocean and the beach. I like to go to the beach, so and I love the colors, how it looks when the sun is setting, so I decided to do that. We would love to host more of this. We actually put a challenge to the students and said maybe next year we will get them to express art and healing and maybe we could display their pictures here all the time. I just want to say thank you to the Jacobs family at, for giving me this wonderful challenge and I want to say thank you to my wonderful art teachers, Mrs. Smith over there, and I have Miss Oaks and Miss Stanton over there because they're awesome and they help me so much and I just want to say thank you to everybody. <laughs> Visit youngartmasterswellington.org to see the entire exhibition and participate in the bidding.